Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best money methods to do this week in GTA 5 Online. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys a total of five different money methods you could be doing this week that can literally be making you guys millions of dollars in GTA 5 Online. I can't lie, we haven't had a great week like this in a while. I mean, last week was pretty good with the special cargo crates, but this week is also another great week to make money, and you're going to see why in today's video. Of course, before getting any further into to it if you guys can do me a favor and drop a like on the video and also hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already that would be greatly appreciated but without wasting any more time let's get into the very first money method Okay, so getting into the very first money method, I'm already excited just talking about it because you guys can make lots of money super fast doing this. Now, the only thing you need to do this money method is going to be an auto shop. Once you do have your auto shop, though, go inside of it and go upstairs. Once you're upstairs, come over here to this board right here and click right D-pad. Now, you'll see you have lots of different contracts you can start up. Now, these contracts pay anywhere from $340,000 to $600,000 at most. So start up whichever one you guys want to. Of course, if you have the $600,000 contract like I do, start that one up. That's the one I'm actually going to be doing for the example in today's video. So start up whichever one you want to. No matter which one you start, you're going to have to do two different setups for each one. For this one, I have to do elevator key and also vault code. And these setup missions are super simple and easy to do. I don't even think I need to explain to you guys how to do these because they're just so simple to do. Anyway, just for an example, though, I'm going to show you guys how easy these setups are just by showing you the first one that I'm doing right now. Right now for this first setup all i had to do was come over here to this uh lawn bank building go inside of it once i was inside of it all i had to do was take every single person that was inside of this building out once i took everybody out i got a cut or a key card took it downstairs to the garage and after i took everybody out in the garage i just got inside the security vehicle and now all i have to do is drive this security vehicle all the way over to the uh, union depository and park it at a marked location in this case i decided to park it right here at this spot you can park it at the other two spots if you guys want to but i just recommend parking it at this location out of all the three different options you have anyway once you guys have parked it here if you are doing the same contract as me all you have to do now is leave the area and you are done with the very first setup now all you have to do is one more setup and you're all done and then you can do the finale now i don't really think i need to even explain to you guys how to do the second setup because it's super easy so let's just skip straight to it and i'll be back with you guys once i'm about to do the finale all right, now fast forwarding, you can see I actually just have done both of the setups and this took me literally like 10 minutes total to do both of them. But now we have the finale. And if you're doing the union depository contract like I'm doing right now, I highly recommend that you guys get three other friends that do this contract with you. Because if you do not have three other friends who do this contract with you, you won't be getting the max amount of $600,000 like you're supposed to. Any other contract though, if you're not doing this union depository one, it doesn't really matter. You can do it solo or you could do it with a few friends if you want to. Just make Make sure i just really want to stress this because you won't get the amount of money that i'm getting right now if you do not do it with three friends in this in particular contract anyway the union depository contract finale is so simple all i had to do was drive into the union depository literally just walk into the vault and steal all the gold now each person will be able to steal one whole pile of gold and a half once all of you guys have picked up one whole pile and a half of gold, you guys will be ready and you can now exit the bank. But make sure when you exit the bank, you are very careful because you're going to have to fight off a bunch of cops, which you're going to see here in a second. Now, make sure you don't just rush straight into the parking lot, because if you do rush straight into the parking lot, all the cops are going to laser you and one of you guys might end up actually dying. So be careful. Also, keep in mind that you do have snacks and also body armor. A lot of people don't really remember that they have snacks and body armor and they just go out there on low health. So if you are getting low, just snack up, body armor up and you should be good. And you're basically just going to want to make your way pushing all the way through these cops, of course, taking them all out one by one and just keep pushing all the way out until you guys get to your escape vehicle, which is going to be where we park them underneath the building where we park the security vehicle during the um, actual setup mission. You can see here's the exact garage where we parked that security vehicle, which was the Range Rover. I'm not too sure what it's called in GTA, but it's a Range Rover. Anyway, once you guys come over here, you'll now see all the vehicles that you guys parked over here, which are gonna be the vehicles you brought here. So get inside your vehicle, each of you get inside your vehicle, and now drive out of here as fast as possible because you don't wanna be anywhere near the cops because all they wanna do is try to take you out. So once you guys get out of that garage, you're now gonna be on the run. 
So basically just follow the checkpoint until you make it all the way over to the destination. And once you get to that destination, you are literally completely done and you guys are done with the contract. And here's how much money you actually end up getting paid once you end up beating the union depository contract. Now, if you do any other contract than this one, you're most likely gonna get around $340,000. But if you're doing the union depository one like this, this is how much you get paid. $675,000. Yes, I am correct when I said that. You can see it right there on your screen. It is a lot of money. You can see contract complete. My friends each got $130,000, which isn't too bad. But if you are the host of it, like I was, you guys will be getting paid $675,000. So like I said, this is a great money method. You guys are definitely going to want to take advantage of this as much as possible this week, because after this week, it's no longer going to be paying double money and double RP. But that's it for this first money method. Let's go ahead and get into the second money method now. Okay, so for the second money method, we are going to be doing the brand new HSW time trial for this week. And if you guys do not know where it is located, here is the exact location for it on the map. So make your way over here. And once you guys make your way over here, call out your fastest HSW vehicle. You can see I got my HSW uh, Cyclone 2 here. Once you guys have your HSW vehicle, come up to the time trial, click right D-pad. Now just stay still and open up your pause menu. And you're now going to want to come all the way over here to the checkpoint and make sure you mark it. That way you have a waypoint to get there. Now drop your pause menu. You open up your phone, click right there in the middle where it says job list, then click X and then A to quit the time trial. From here, what you need to do is line yourself up just like this. And once you guys are lined up just like this, whenever you're ready, click right on the D-pad. And now you are officially in the time trial and the timer has started. So just go down the hill as normal. But once you guys get to this part here, make sure you take a left. It's going to tell you to just keep going straight. But trust me, take a left. And then the waypoint is just going to tell you automatically where to go. Just follow this waypoint all the way through. Make sure you guys are as fast as possible and you try not to crash also. Because if you do crash maybe more than three times, you might not actually beat this HSW time trial. But once you guys end up beating it, here is how much money you actually end up getting paid. You can see $253,000, which is very good for only three minutes of driving to a destination. So definitely make sure you guys do this this week. All right, now getting into the third money method, this is also going to be involving the auto shop. So you will need one for this money method, but we're going to be doing the auto shop delivery missions. If you guys do not know, if you own a auto shop, you guys will have these two cars that spawn in in these two exact spots in your auto shop. If you actually come up to them, you can actually click right D pad to customize the vehicle for the customer. Now, basically all you have to do is click service vehicle. And now whenever it brings you to these options, it's going to tell you exactly what to put on the car. So you can see right there at the bottom middle of the screen, it says to put the price primary color wine red so I'm just gonna put the wine red color now you can see it's gonna tell me to put different brakes transmission upgrades basically for the vehicle make sure you guys put the exact upgrades that it is telling you to put on the vehicle in the bottom middle of your screen because if you do not put those exact upgrades and you mess up and put something else it's gonna make it so you don't get paid as much money so make sure you guys do not mess up while customizing this vehicle anyway I'm pretty sure you guys already guessed it but these auto shop delivery missions are gonna be paying triple the amount of money and triple the amount of rp this week and this week only so that's why i'm uh including it in today's video whenever you're ready though just click confirm once you finish upgrading the vehicle and make sure you click deliver vehicle by yourself don't click deliver vehicle with a staff member because if you deliver it with a staff member it's going to make you get less money and you also run the risk of your staff member crashing the vehicle and you won't get paid as much money but once you're delivering it yourself, like I said, make sure while you're driving to the destination that you don't crash. Because if you do crash, you might get paid a little bit less money than you're supposed to. And it's pretty easy to not crash. These destinations aren't that far. You can see the destination for me was only about a mile away, which isn't far at all. But once you deliver it over to the location like I'm doing right here, that is literally it. You now get paid the amount of money that you're supposed to. And I'm going to show you guys how much money that is right now. You're actually going to be kind of shocked on how much this money is because it only takes around maybe one to two minutes to deliver this vehicle and it takes no time to set up at all these vehicles just randomly spawn in your auto shop you can see though i got paid a total of one hundred and forty thousand dollars but realistically i only got ninety thousand and the reason I say you got 90000 is because $50,000 of that is the amount you spent on actually upgrading the car, but you do get that money back once you finish delivering the vehicle. So really, you technically didn't spend the $50,000 because you get it back at the end of the mission. Anyway, this is definitely going to be another money method you want to make sure you take advantage of. These vehicles, after you sell them, take about 15 to 20 minutes to spawn a new one inside of your auto shop. So keep that in mind. It does take a little bit of time for those two cars to respawn in your auto shop. 
Anyway, now getting into the next money method, we are going to be doing something else that is involved with the auto shop, and that is going to be the exotic exports. Now, if you guys do not know, every single time randomly across the map, these little blue dots will appear. And if you actually go inside of your auto shop and come upstairs to this chalkboard here, you'll see a whole list of exotic exports vehicles. Now, the ones that are crossed out are the ones that you already got, and the ones that are not crossed out are the ones that you didn't get. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but all these cards that are not crossed out are randomly going to spawn throughout the map as blue dots on the map. And your job is to basically go to those blue dots on the map and deliver them over to the docks. You can see one actually spawned in right here in front of me. It's an exotic exports vehicle. You can see that's how you know it's actually an exotic export vehicle. Now, these blue dots spawn in anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes after you've been inside of a session. So you want to make sure you've been in a session for at least 10 minutes or more. And then these vehicles will spawn in. Once those blue dots spawn in, all you have to do, though, is go up to the actual blue dot. Get inside the vehicle and drive it over to the location where it tells you to bring it to, which is always going to be over at the docks. So simply drive it over to the docks, just like the custom deliveries that we did in the auto shop. Make sure you do not crash this vehicle, because if you do crash it, you won't be getting paid as much money as you're supposed to. So once you drive it all the way over to the location, though, assuming you didn't crash it, here's how much money you're actually going to be getting paid. Now, these can take slightly longer than the auto shop deliveries. They can take anywhere from three to five minutes to drive over the docks. But once you do complete it, here's how much money you get. You can see. $40,000, which is pretty good for literally just delivering a vehicle over to the docks. But that is now going to bring us to our very last money method, and that is going to be the RC Bandito time trial for this week. If you guys do not know where this week's RC Bandito time trial is located at, here is the exact location over here at the power station. So make your way over here to this location and come up to the time trial. Once you're standing on top of it, just click right in your D-pad to start it up whenever you're ready. And yeah, this RC Bandito time trial is easy, but you can also easily be messing up because there are lots of obstacles in the way. So just make sure when you're doing this week's RC Bandito time trial that you take your time and try not to crash as much as possible as long as you guys do those two things you should be able to beat it and once you beat it here's how much money you get paid one hundred and two thousand dollars which is very good for only a little bit under two minutes so like i said that's going to be the last money method in today's video i hope you guys did go on to enjoy if you guys did go on to enjoy today's video do me a big favor and drop a like on the video and if you're watching the video until this point and you're not subscribed what are you doing? Might as well hit that subscribe button because clearly you watch the video all the way until the end. I make these videos every single day. So make sure you guys have post notifications turned on. That way you never miss out on a future video from me. Anyway, like I was saying, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys did go on to enjoy and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.